yesterday, 16th of February 2011, we took the train from Syracuse to Morning. Here we are in the station. This is a 2.30 p.m. train. It has people who uh, may be coming home from shopping, but also many workers evidently coming home after an early shift, obviously tired. As soon as the train set off, many of them were asleep. It also contains a lot of students coming home from school. This is just silhouette, so you see how people speak. The train will pick up speed as we leave town. Now we will go and see the countryside. Everywhere we go in, Sic in Italy, especially in Sicily. Almost every square inch of workable land is worked and productive. You see vegetables in these fields. shooting through a rather grubby window and door. Here we are, into the fruit trees. Citrus. Fallow vegetable growth. Those you see are the prickly pears, or as they're called here, fiki di India, Indian figs. Spectacular hill and valley behind. It's evident that this fertile land here is the alluvial runoff from volcanic soils. This whole area of Sicily is is the product of Mount Etna. So we are now at a considerable distance to the south, and we're running further southwest down to the bottom southeast corner of Sicily. Lemons. Those uh, almonds, I think. The first station on our way to Modica is Avola. This part of the film will show us travelling to Avola, a sort of countryside and pulling into the town of Avola. Somewhere else the other day a point was made to me that among villages around here, uh, Avola is the one which has uh, the greatest number of families with Australian connections. Brassica flowers, citrus, ancient, ancient olive tree in the middle of the vegetables, really old olive trees. Sometimes when the olives are very, very old, they cut the middle out of the trunk to maintain the, keep them going. But those olives back there were hundreds of years old. Sicily provides Italy and much of Europe with its oranges. At the moment in the markets we have lots of oranges, including and lots and lots of oranges. blood oranges, but they're totally different. Gentle, soft, sweet taste. 
warm flavour and also there are a lot of uh, mandarins and clementine which are the very special fresh tasting ones. This pale blossom again is almonds. The almond festivals are coming in this end of this month. Also, of course, there are lots of lemons. And now we seem to be coming to, to somewhere industrial. cemetery out there. After the film of this trip to Avila finishes, the next section is going to be a film as we go up the valley, as we go up the valley towards Monica in the last 15 minutes of our trip. Very different country. Well, in the second part, the camera will be on for long. You'll travel through tunnels. This is more of a train experience. And for the train buffs who are anxious, there is a picture of a train like ours way up the end. We are at Sheikli. We've just left the station. We have 15 minutes to go to Mordica. interest in catching a picture of the amazing standout house in a bright orange among all the others. You see the experience, real train experience of the close in, the far away. And it's amazing how when you're traveling the eye filters out the things that flash past your nose. Not so easy on a film. Again you can see that though we're in steep country, the valley floor when the camera deigns to go down there shows a great deal of cultivation on the alluvial flats at the bottom. This would no doubt Oh no, of course we can, all we can see is the tops of the trees. There are a lot of evergreen trees in the valley too, which are carob. The great area of production in, of carob in Sicily. These can be see the valley. That's a bit better. Said, what did he say? Going through orchards of almonds and carrots, vegetable farms. This is an hour after the earlier film. It has not ceased to be productive. Of 
gun will kind of... I can say that because I've seen the film. I couldn't say it when I originally was speaking with the film. Fascinating old farmhouse going below there. It's paddocks and it's close to the public gardens. The little train is going a fair clip here, really. thrills of being able to experience the going into and coming out of tunnels is you never know what you're going to see when you come out of the tunnel. This is all unedited, so you can see the extent of the trip. There are a little bit, a couple of drawings there in town. You're seeing much of the 15 minute trip. I can't show you the cage in front, there isn't one. I can't show you the cage behind because there isn't one. It's just this little cage that loop up to Modica. Here we are arriving in Modica, though. Upper and lower Modica. We're coming in at the bottom. One reason we came back here is because I was hurrying in a car 40 some years ago or so. Syracuse at dusk and I think it was this bridge that I came across in earnestly young man racing forwards in the car and looked to my left and nearly came off the bridge I think at the astonishing view of the city beyond we will get that perhaps in a moment as we get through this rocky passage here well I hate to put facts in the way of a good story but it was another bridge and that will be in another film Slow, you can hear the diesel as well. We 
because while the centre of the city is uh, ancient and baroque and so on, it's the periphery of it's modern. That's pretty modern. That was done in 1994, I understand. And no doubt, the enormous thickness of the pile reflects the earthquake versus I wouldn't like to be on an earthquake. There's a train, that's what we're travelling in. One of those creatures, that little carriage there. Train or Reginald. Well, we'll have to wait for somewhere else to get a view. We're coming into the station.